Hi all, welcome again on Devish Tech. Due to the laptop issue, in this video I will not cover the topic of Google authentication on the blog app. But I will cover this topic on the next coming video. If you click on the sign up with email page then you will see the UI of the sign up page using email. Similar kind of UI we will make on the sign in with email page also. If you click on the sign in button on the welcome page then you can make a page like sign in with Google, Facebook and email. But for the simplicity purpose if you click on the sign in page then I make a page where we can just have to provide the username and password only. You know that in the welcome page we have a sign in text. Let me wrap it using the ink wheel to provide the button functionality. In the ink wheel we have a parameter called on tap. In the on tap we can call the navigator to navigate from welcome page to the sign in page. For that I will create a file called sign in page. In the sign in page we have to write the code of sign in UI. But we already have a sign up page UI. Let me copy this and we will do the modification of this code on the sign in page. If I will copy and paste then we have to change the name of the sign in page. I mean we have to change the sign up with the sign in for the class and state also. Let me do that then uh, I had to call the sign in page on the on tap parameter. Let me go on on tap and uh, I already call this kind of thing before. Let me find that thing because I log copy and pasting. Now let me import the sign in page over there. And uh, after importing the sign in page, if I will click on the sign in button, then you can see that we are going to the sign in page and we had to do the modification on the sign in page. Let me do the modification like sign in and email caps. Now I had to delete the email text field because we don't need here. We only need a username and password. So let me delete it and uh, and we don't need this thing also. I mean we will implement the another logic for the sign in page. Let me delete it also then and change the button text. Now if I will click on the sign in button then I will land into the home page of the blog app. That will be covered on the next coming video. Don't bother about that also. So let me add two things. Uh, first one is forgot the password. Second one is the new user. If a uh, user is new and he click on the sign in button, then we will give a button here also that if he or she is a new user, then click the new user button. Then you can do the sign up with the blog app. For that, I have to go on the last side of the column widget. Uh, let me do that first. I will use divider to divide the the sign in button and the these two thing. So if so if I will click a save, then you will not able to see the divider. Let me increase the thickness. And uh, now you can see that divider is showing just below the sign in button. But there is no padding. Let me go over that we have a padding on a column or not and we don't have any padding. We have to adjust the padding first. So, so let me add the padding on the column widget like we have in the text form field. And let me remove the padding on the text form field.
we don't need the email text form field let me delete this thing Now let me add the size box between this this between these two text form field and now everything is right and I can implement this those two button below the divider for that I have to use the row inside the row I have a two text first first one will be forgot password and second one will be new user i have to add the styling also here let me first adjust the main axis alignment Let's do the styling of this text. I want to say one thing that uh, I don't have a UI of the sign in page, that's why I am making a random UI in front of you. It's just developing from the scratch, I am not editing anything here. So, just if the UI will not look great, then just pardon me. and uh, same styling I will add on the new user text also but I will change the color Don't use check user functionality, let me delete it also. Now the code is cleaned. I think I have to reduce the text size also so it will look good. So let me wrap the new user text into the ink well. So if I will click on the new user then I will land it to the sign up page. We will use push replacement for the navigator. So let me implement first then I will tell you that one thing.
so in the builder i had to call the sign in page i have to call the sign up page and now and now if i will click on a new user text then i will land into the sign up page and i will hit the back then we will go on a welcome page because we are using a push replacement if i were using a push then if i will click on a back then we will land into the sign in page but with help of push replacement we can implement that functionality but this ui is not looking great so let me do one thing that what i can do that i will paste the code of the two button above the sign in button so let me do that then we will see that it's looking on good or not and uh, i had to remove the helper text also let me do that and after saving it i don't know it's looking great or not but the sign in page is now implemented and sorry for the ui is not up to the mark but at the last i want to request all of you and let me go on uh, my youtube channel and uh, first of all thank you all who subscribe this channel yet i have a 202 subscriber and please support me and help me to grow this channel thank you all and uh, happy coding see you on the next video